Now, who's in her favourite little spot again? Cadby C.K. Lippenmeyer. Good afternoon, darling. Nana told me, oh, what a lovely tail you have. Nana told me that you got between the awning and the window an hour and a half ago to get her attention because she didn't like the biscuits I'd left out. So you came in and got the biscuits you like. Well, that's all right, darling, because you can do whatever you like. You're a princess, Princess Cadbury. Oh, what lovely little feet you've got. Oh, what lovely, lovely little tail you've got. And look at that, that back leg put out so alluringly, stretched out. My word, you are a beautiful cat. In fact, arguably the most beautiful cat in the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere. In other words, the big whole wide world. Yes, you don't mind that idea, do you, darling? Exactly, you're the most beautiful cat in the world. Yes. And we did have the conversation about probably on the moon and Mars. I'd say Venus wouldn't have any cats nicer than you. They'd be skinless, uh, furless there. They'd be furless cats on Venus. Very, very shaggy cats on Mars. Jupiter wouldn't have much going for it in the cat apartment, nor Saturn, nor uh, Uranus. Oh, what did you just see? Oh, let's follow you. Where are you going? You think you're coming inside, do you, darling? What did you say? Oh, it's hot. The bricks are hot, aren't they, darling? They're hot because our sun is so blistering. Oh. I did see you look over here and you thought oh, I'll have a little lie down here. Well that's okay darling. You can do whatever you like because you're royalty. You're royalty my sweet. Yes. Yeah. You're royalty. And we don't mind that at all. Well, it's a very hot week coming my sweet. After tomorrow we've got uh, mid to high thirties at least four of them, probably more. Probably more. Oh, what a lovely little tail you've got, my darling. Oh, what a lovely little tail you've got, eh? Hey? Yes. And look at all the bamboo leaves and spider webs. And the rustle of the bamboo in the back background. Yes. Yeah. They come no more beautiful than you get me, kitty. And they lovely little feet and little feistiness. Not like Anu, not like Anu. Anu, true cat love, Anu. He wouldn't know how to be a little bit feisty. He wouldn't know how to do a pretend bite, would he? But you do, darling, because you have to fend for yourself. You have to go and catch vermin. You have to disembowel mice and and rats, and you have to eat them, the entire body, in front of me on the lawn. That's right, darling. Still molting a little bit, my sweet. Yes, you're a tough cat, but beautiful. Yes, you do love your master, even though some people think you've got a vendetta against me. It's just a... You had a very hard beginning in life and I have to do all the hard yards with you darling, all the hard stuff and when you get poo in your bottom I have to cut it out and wash it out and I have to cut out the fur balls and everyone else does the glamorous sexy stuff, I have to do the hard yards with you darling. <coughs> but that's alright, that's alright darling. You have a lovely hiss. That's a lovely hiss darling, there's not many cats can do a hiss like that my sweet. <coughs> yeah that's alright. See, if you really wanted to hurt me, I would have been disemboweled and bleeding to death minutes ago. That's all right, my darling. Yes, but I did disturb you, didn't I? I'm going to let you go now, my sweet. You have a lovely afternoon, Cabby, and I no doubt will see you during it on this Sunday, the 2nd of February, 2014. Wow! Ooh, Cabby, CK, look at the most beautiful cat 
in the solar system.